Tesla is reportedly moving 4680 battery production to Giga Texas to take advantage of the Inflation Reduction Act in the United States. But Tesla said it also speeding up the battery production work at Giga Berlin. One email explains what Tesla will do in Berlin and what it will do in Texas in terms of battery production to keep Berlin battery production going to speed it up while taking advantage of the US EV tax credit law. Tesla has prioritized Giga Texas for building 4680 batteries due to the incentives being offered by the US government. Tesla will still be building some 4680 batteries at Giga Berlin, but the priority is going to be the United States. Giga Berlin will build 4680 batteries also and in a pilot type of process. Some of those processes are going to be moved to Giga Texas though. So Giga Berlin will ramp up 4680 batteries and continue production. Not all production will be shipped to the United States. That's important to keep. Not all production is being shipped back to the United States. The Inflation Reduction Act has caused Giga Texas to be the top priority for Texas. Austin, Texas takes precedence now. There are specific parts of 4680 battery processes that are being moved to Giga Texas. There won't be any dismantling dismantling of system in Giga Berlin for the 4680 battery production. There is an email from Tesla that is shared from Electrified and it goes on to say the following. Listen to this. We will do the following in Berlin. Electrode commissioning and production ramp will continue at full speed and we will ship the electrode to Texas to be completed in cells. Also, installation of additional tableless and assembly equipment will be paused. Created equipment will be redirected to Texas. There are electrodes being made at Giga Berlin, but they'll be shipped to Giga Texas. There is installation of the tableless and assembly equipment. There is some created equipment at Giga Berlin that will be shipped to Giga Texas. We're learning from those reports. And I will have the link in the description of this video for your reference. This isn't a negative for Giga Berlin at all. Their Model Y production will continue even with the 4680 batteries being reprioritized to Texas. Tesla just needs to take advantage of massive opportunity to the United States market and that is something they should do. Sandy Monroe did a teardown of Tesla's 4680 batteries recently and found quite a number of interesting things. The disassembly was done with a pipe cutter through a the thick piece of steel covering the battery. The assembly was nothing short of engineering genius, rivaling that of Giga Press. So now we have excellent way of building Giga Factory, uh, Giga uh, batteries for Tesla, and uh, casting. We know now, now that Tesla has shifted the priority of its 4680 batteries to Giga Texas. So do you think this was the right thing to do? Should Tesla take advantage of the Inflation Reduction Act? I mean, keep in mind this is huge advantage. This is not like a small advantage. As I reported previously, um, this may bring down the cost of Tesla Model Y by 40%. And if that's translated to the consumer, we may see Tesla Model Y dropping somewhere between 20 to 40% in price. And Tesla needs to break down the prices of Tesla Model 3, Model Y in order to make the transition of the adoption of uh, transiting to the electric vehicles much faster and uh, make us depend less on oil. What do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Tesla may be planning a gigafactory in Florida, in Orlando? Tesla could be planning a gigafactory in Orlando, Florida. Here's one person's opinion on why this is a good idea. Think about it. So, factory in Florida. Elon Musk said that Tesla would most likely announce a new gigafactory later in 2022. And we have already held some candidates like in Canada. According to Warren Redlick, here's why a gigafactory in Orlando, Florida makes good sense. People want to live in Orlando, Florida. And Elon Musk has talked about building gigafactories in places that people want to be and doing so make it easy to recruit employees who want to be there and will do a good job because they already like where they are living. It's more difficult to get people to come to a location that they may not want to live in in the first place and therefore it's difficult to bring people to new locations. Second reason, there are universities nearby in Orlando. 
there are major universities near Orlando. There is the University of Florida, University of Central Florida, South Florida University, University of North Florida. All of these universities have great programs of engineering. This is great for recruiting employees with engineering, with engineering background. This will make Tesla's job easy in getting the ramping up the production at the Gigafactory. Disney World. There are lots of attractions in Orlando. Disney World is the biggest Disney attraction. When this is nearby, this is place you go to regularly, especially if you like uh, live there. I like Ape Cod, but I don't like Disney anyway. There are deals for Florida residents to get annual passes to go to Disney. Universal Studios is also there providing an attraction for people. So that's another reason. Yet another reason is SpaceX is close by. Having SpaceX close by is a very good thing for building a gigafactory in Florida. There is potential for things getting to work together and have a close knit working relationship. This is just very convenient for both companies. And also, there is no state income tax. There is no state income tax in Florida, which is a nice thing. Every year, uh, people say they pay about 2.75% of their income tax uh, in different states. Uh, Florida, with no state income tax, is a little more attractive than uh, uh, other states. Huh? There is pro-business government in Florida. There are a lot of businesses moving to Florida as they move to Texas also, as the local governments are working to attract business. It's a business-friendly state. Any of you live guys in Florida or near Orlando, Orlando, let us know. And Florida is the third largest state uh, in the United States. Uh, California and Texas, the first two largest states, already have factories, Tesla factories. It makes a lot of sense to build a gigafactory there in Florida. Florida also has a great supercharger system. It is 700 miles closer to New York City instead of Austin. Orlando, Florida is closer to New York City and a lot closer uh, and has advantage location to more prominent places. Orlando also has access to many ports for shipment. There is a lot of coastline in Florida. So what do you think about Tesla building a gigafactory in Orlando, Florida? Does this make sense to you considering all these advantages that I just described, including the universities, including the fact that people want to live in Florida, including the fact that Disney World is, is there. I like some of their uh, parks, but not all of them. Uh, or the coastline, the ports availability, the business environment in Florida, Florida being the third largest state after the uh, Fremont uh, after California and Texas and taking into consideration that both Fremont California and Austin Texas already have Tesla gigafactories and also what Elon Musk has said that they would like to build Tesla would like to build Tesla gigafactories where there are lots of people talent available engineering talent and that people want to live in those states so I'd like to hear your opinion whether you think Tesla may build or maybe planning to build a gigafactory in Orlando. Because when speaking of possible Canada relationship, uh, we heard that there are competing cities and towns um, competing with Canada, and we won't know about them until Tesla announces them. But let's see here, let's keep an eye. We may hear something about Tesla gigafactory in Orlando. And if you have heard anything, I would like to hear your comments in the comment section below. Tesla is planning something really big in Germany. It plans to double its sales, local executive told Automobile Work in an interview published yesterday. The total gain would see sales climb to around 80,000 for this year from sales of nearly 40,000 in 2021. 21 spokesman from Tesla wasn't immediately available for comments for Reuters. But Germany has become one of Tesla's largest European markets where the company sells, uh, sells tens of thousands of vehicles a year. I don't know how things are going in France, but Germany is one of the largest. The increasing acceptance of the manufacturer is also due to the fact that Tesla has a factory in the country, Giga Berlin, and cars made at Giga Berlin are highly preferred by citizens there. The more developed the company becomes in the country, the deeper its cars will penetrate, captivating German car buyers. Agree? So on Sunday, the German weekly automobile walk cited Tesla's local manager, who said the company wants to double car sales in Germany in 2022 compared to last year. 
The source said Tesla will look to attract more customers with more stores and better service offerings. That means Tesla is going to open more stores in Germany. In 2021, the company sold 39,000 Model 3s and Model Ys in Germany, which means that sales in 2022 could go to 40,000, 80,000, according to estimated plan. As of the end of August, Tesla had sold 24,732 vehicles, according to EU EVs data. This means that in the next four months, Tesla should sell about 55,000 Model 3s and Model Ys in Germany. At the moment, it is not known whether the automobile walk report reflects uh, reality. However, Tesla may well deliver such a number of vehicles to Germany before the end of the year. The third and fourth quarters of the year are traditionally extremely fruitful for the company. Kika Shanghai has recently been upgraded. Although the company has not officially announced the installed capacity, sources say it is more than 90,000 vehicles per month. That's the capacity. Of course, the Giga Shanghai, uh, the, of course, it's not there yet. This means that only this one factory, which delivers Europe and Asia, will be able to produce about 350,000 uh, 350, vehicles in the remaining four months of this year. In addition, Giga Berlin continues to ramp up production. At the end of June, the factory reached a production capacity of 1,000 vehicles per week. It is expected that reaching the milestone of 2,000 vehicles per week is not far off. Now, even with the production of 2,000 vehicles per week, Giga Berlin will be able to produce 8,000 units before the end of the year, but it is clear that production capacity will increase. According to the plan, by the end of 2022, beginning of 2023, the factory will reach a production capacity of 5,000 vehicles per week. So if in 2021, or up until now in the past 12 months, uh, Tesla has um, sold more than 39,000 cars in uh, Germany, do you think in the next 12 months Tesla may be able to uh, double it to 80,000 cars in Germany? That would be something really big that Tesla is going to do in Germany. But I don't know how things are going in Italy and France uh, regarding Tesla sales. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section below because those are also large European countries with huge population, uh, close or comparable to, um, to Germany, including Spain and United Kingdom. I'll look forward to hearing your comment on that.